IBM Z goes rack mount. I mean, frame was dead like 25, 25 <laughs> years ago. And, you know, every piece of data that I've seen, at least since I've been an analyst, is the, the amount of MIPS, millions of instructions per second, uh, have, have, have gone up. And when it comes to, you know, seven nines, uh, yeah. it's just hard to beat. And quite frankly, nothing else has come close to it so far. So, Matt, what what's going on here? I mean, oh, I, I, thought, I thought IBM Z was always rack mount. I love it. Well, uh, you know, the, the frame and mainframe refers to the frame that those uh, servers sit in. And they're, they're not your standard 19-inch rack, um, right? Hey, I got to tell you, man, I love, I sound overly positive, maybe because it's Good Friday, but um, what the heck? <laughs> it is Good <laughs> Friday. But um, I, I actually love what IBM is doing with, um, with Linux One, right? So their Linux version of the mainframe is Linux One. They're on version four, which they're, they're, it, it's been around for a little bit called Emperor. It's a standard kind of mainframe look and feel. Um, and it really, what it does is it, 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 cloud natifies, if you will, um, the mainframe. So I'm a large company. I've adopted cloud native as my kind of, um, as my my go-to for new application development. Uh, and so Linux One provides me that cloud environment uh, with what you talk about, the enterprise grade capabilities, right? Reliability, consistency of performance, consistency of power consumption, high utilization, security like crypto safe security like you've or uh quantum safe uh security like you know you've 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 never heard of and that was really good but the challenge was you know it was still really big with a really big price point so recently um actually just the last couple of days they announced uh two new uh uh additions to the linux one platform they have at rock hopper right they have a rock hopper, which is a single frame, so a kind of a single uh, rack, if you will. And then they have the rack mountable um, rock hopper, which fits into your 19 inch rack um, and can coexist with your x86 servers. Such a cool thing, right? But what I like about this is not only does it fit in, but it also it 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 brings them it brings IBM down in Linux one down into you know, the, the smaller side, the market segments for, uh, for consideration, right? You can look at Linux one in the past and go, well, man, it's, it's great, but it's still really, really expensive. When you look at this, this rack mountable Linux one in particular, it is a very affordable piece of hardware that gives you all of the benefits of, of IBM and what they're known for at a price point that smaller companies can, uh, can appreciate, right. And can, can, uh, consume. So love the story. Um, I love what they're doing. And, you know, in some ways, I hate to say this because I'm going to go ADHD again, but you got to give a nod to ARM and to companies like Ampere that have said, you know what? You don't need x86 for everything. There's more to this world, right? IBM's coming in on the back end of that and saying, absolutely. You know, this is all, it's just cloud, right? Whatever you're writing in, it's going to run inside of a container that sits on these boxes and, and performs really well um and really secure and really reliably so um love what they're doing i said that a few times i apologize yeah, it's a love uh, fest matt <laughs> it, well, you know, i don't know i mean you're you're date you're loving a lot here i mean because i've seen you love love x86 as i well. love x86 too um but you know i mean i'm a i'm an older school it guy i remember the world where you know ibm uh ibm systems mainframes, AS400s would sit in their own kind of world and had their dedicated team, um, right, that would manage those servers. And with Linux One, you know, this is opening up, you know, this is opening up the mainframe, if you will, to the general IT audience, um, to a much broader audience. So going to be cu curious to see how this plays out and how the market accepts it, but really worthy of looking at. Yeah, some people forget uh, that, that, the uh, the mainframe has you know seven nines on chip uh, machine learning acceleration with the Telum chip yep. um, real time accelerated and quantum safe cryptography mm -hmm. a lot of that again being done on the chip they have some special cards if you want to increase your 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 line rate uh, on that 
And for a lot of workloads, it, it does it at lower power, in fact, than than X86, which, which is uh, interesting. I'd really love to see IBM lean into this at this point. I'm sure they're concerned about margins, but um, come out right with Linux One, unleash this to your traditional reseller community. But but even better is I want to see them create an appliance offering, do it as a service. Yep. Uh, you saw orders of magnitude improvements with uh, workloads like MongoDB, and they do really well on on SAP workloads and you know scale scale up basically, mm-hmm. and. Uh, not only are you, do you now have it just as a rack that could fit into a standard 19 inch rack with standard uh, 19 inch rack power, but uh, if you do it as an appliance, uh, your developers, they only care about the APIs, right? That's it. They don't care what's under the hood. And I, I appreciated your nod to to ARM and, and people like Ampere that, that made this happen. And quite frankly, what where the dam burst was with um, AWS and Graviton. That's right. Yeah, that almost yep. made it. It 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 was okay, and then all the tools uh, came, came around and were optimized. Because it's one thing to be compatible, but you also have to optimize though at the first place. So, I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of goodness here, and here we are, you know. 1964. This <laughs> platform was was created and here we are in 2023 still talking about it in the the previous 30 years talking about the death of it yeah so and i I love to use the mainframe as as the perfect example of it is not about or it's about and we just keep layering and layering and layering and layering uh this on and as long as you can do it uniquely uh, in a way, then it has it has it has life. 